A rich and powerful Raja was convinced in his heart that no one in the world was as powerful as he was. I wonder what my palace officials think. Do they also think that I am the only one powerful king? I must find out. But if I ask them directly, they may not give me the correct answer. So let me challenge them. So the next day, he called a meeting of all the palace officials. Honorable officials, I have requested your presence here today on an important matter. I want you to tell me what is in my heart, what is it that I am thinking, and the person who gets it right will be richly rewarded. Many of them made guesses, but no one could satisfy the Raja with his answer. Divanji, now I turn to you. Please find me a person who can tell me what I am thinking, what is in my heart. I give you one month's time for this. The Divan wondered what he could do. After searching everywhere for many days, he finally handed over this job to his daughter, who was a very clever girl. Father, I know the best person who can help you with this, but I will bring him to you at the right time. The Divan was puzzled, but then he had no other option either. Father, here's the genius who is going to help you solve your problem. <coughs> this shepherd? He's a shepherd, all right, but he has the answer that your king is looking for. So worry not, father. Take him to the king. Okay, if you say so, I trust you. And so the divan took the shepherd to the court and presented him before the king. Your Highness. Here's the genius you have been looking for. was pleased and I rewarded the Divan with a lot of rich gifts. Your Highness, I am pleased to have been of service to you. Please do me one more favor by helping me understand what conversation you had with the shepherd. Yes. When I raised one finger, I was asking him if I alone was the king. But he held up two fingers and in that he was reminding me that apart from me, God is also powerful, oh, at least as powerful as me. But when I held up three fingers, he vehemently denied it because what I was asking is if there is any third person, he denied that there is a third person. This man has really read my thoughts. I was thinking that I alone am the most powerful king. But this man reminded me that apart from me, God is also powerful. That is just God and me, no third person. Oh shepherd, I'm curious to know what you made out of that conversation. Hujur, when king raised one finger, I thought he's asking for only one sheep. 
What? But he is king. I cannot give him just one sheep. Oh my god. But when he raised three fingers, I understood that he wants three sheep. But I only have three sheep. How can I give him all my sheep? Huh? I refused. 